Hey guys, I'm Tom the Tech Chap, and this is the Acer Concept D7, and it's one of a new breed of creator laptops. And it's thanks to companies like Intel, who are also very kindly sponsoring this video, for helping to push the industry forward and create this whole new market of creator laptops that are designed for, well, you and me. So I make tech videos, but really we're all creators in our own way. I mean, hands up if you've ever made a YouTube video, streamed a game on Twitch, recorded a podcast, written a blog, edited something, coded something, drawn something. And we're all creators in our own ways, which is awesome. And so it's great to see that we've finally got tech products that are helping to make our workflow easier and just enable us to be more creative. I mean, you could always have bought a MacBook Pro or a gaming laptop or a workstation, but I want something that's powerful, portable, with a color accurate screen, and ideally a pretty good looking premium design. So I take my laptop with me everywhere I go. And because I'm usually editing quite big 4K projects in Premiere Pro, so I actually need a pretty powerful machine, which is why I've switched to the Concept D7 as my main workhorse daily driver laptop. I do still love the Dell XPS 15 and the Razer Blade Advanced, but this is actually ticking a few more boxes for what I want. In this model, we've got a RTX 2060 graphics card, the latest ninth generation Intel i7 processor, the i7-9750H to be exact, so that's six cores, 12 threads, which is ideal for 4K editing and multitasking, along with 32 gigs of RAM and a one terabyte NVMe SSD. So you may notice that this video keeps cutting between different locations, that's because I'm actually filming it over a period of a few weeks as I'm testing out the laptop and also trying to get to grips so and get to the core of what a good content creator laptop looks like. But the common denominator among all the laptops in this video, including the Concept D7, is that they are powered by Intel processors. And with the 9th gen H series of processors, we're getting six and eight cores up to a peak five gigahertz turbo boost overclock, support for up to 128 gigs of RAM, although you'll probably have to upgrade that yourself. And for me, that performance is really useful. I mean, I'm traveling a lot, going to trade shows and product launches. I need to edit video on the go. And so when I'm scrubbing through my timeline of 4K footage, I want it to be smooth. And of course, I also want my export times to be fast. And so on a hardware level, these new ninth gen processors are really useful. More cores, high clock speed, all that good stuff. But it's not just about that, it's also software. And Intel actually work with a lot of developers to optimize the programs and make everything a bit smoother, faster, and more reliable. So for me, performance is probably my number one priority when it comes to a laptop for my 4K editing, but everyone's a little bit different. And I wanted to find out what other creators look for in a creator laptop. Hey guys, this is Austin. What I look for in a creator PC really comes down to a few key elements. First of all, you've gotta have a solid screen. Not only does it need to be big and bright, but importantly, I need to be able to trust that it's going to be color accurate. On top of that, I really do need the performance to be there, and that's not just having plenty of CPU horsepower. It means plenty of RAM, a nice fast SSD, and beefy graphics. And last, but certainly not least, I actually need something which is practical. I need to be able to carry it around all day, and especially it's nice if I have enough battery life to do a quick edit when I'm on a flight, for example. Hello, Tom the Tech Chap. That was my really bad British accent, but we're here to talk computers, right? What makes the best creator laptop? Power and portability is probably one of the most important things, right? It needs to fit in my camera backpack that is stuffed with a ton of camera stuff, so it can't be too thick, but then I need that i7, I need the maxed out RAM, and I need one terabyte SSD. That's, that's like my standard. But the most important thing that has risen to the top in the past few years, honestly, is ports. Because when I travel, that means I'm editing on the airplane. I'm editing in awkward hotel lobbies. I need to have all the ports necessary to plug in SD cards, to plug in random hard drives. I need ports. Have I said ports yet? Ports. Hey guys, I'm David the Unlocker, and some things that I've always wanted in a creator laptop are an SD card slot, please, uh, upgradable RAM and storage, a fast processor and powerful GPU, and I don't know, a battery that maybe can last longer than two seconds when I'm trying to edit. Is that too much to ask? Oh, also Tom, if there was like a cool feature on a creator laptop that could maybe help people tell the difference between the two of us, that'd be great. I'm not British. I don't have a British accent. I don't know why people think I'm you. So Austin, Sarah, and David are all incredible creators. Definitely check out their channel. And also let me know if you'd like to see more collab videos. And if so, who with? Who do you think I should work with? Let me know in the comments below. So from my experience and what those guys have said, I've narrowed it down to five things. Five tips for buying the best creator laptop. 
Number one, get a 15 inch laptop. Now 13 inch laptops will obviously be lighter and a bit more portable, and they are still relatively powerful with Intel's latest 8th gen U series of chips. They're four core, eight thread, and they're ideal for tainty editing and sort of medium intensive tasks like a bit of Lightroom or Photoshop but there's so many advantages to going with a bigger 15 inch laptop. You get more powerful H series processors. As I say, I've got the i7 9750H in here, but you can also get i9 options if you want eight cores and 16 threads. So basically a bigger laptop usually has better cooling, which means they can put in more powerful components and you get better performance. Number two, make sure it has a dedicated graphics card. On the lower end, and usually in 13 inch laptops, you might find the NVIDIA MX150 or the 250 graphics chips. Always try and go for the 25 watt version of those if you can. And they're good basic graphics cards and give you a bit of a boost over integrated graphics. For now at least, because Intel's 10th gen Ice Lake chips that are coming later in the year promise significantly faster integrated graphics. I can't wait for that. But for now, in bigger 15 inch laptops, like the Dell XPS 15, we've got the GTX 16. 50, which is a good mid-level card, but to speed up your renders even more or get a better frame rate in your games if you've got a bit of spare time, then you'll want something like the RTX 2060, which is what we've got in the Concept D7 here, and I think offers a great balance between performance while also not being too big, too hot, and just completely draining the battery life. A quick tip though when you're looking at graphics cards in laptops is you may see something called Max-Q, say the RTX 2070 Max-Q or 2080 Max-Q. Max-Q is basically a slightly less powerful, slightly underclocked version of the full fat card. Usually you get about 85% of the performance but it's significantly more efficient so it's cooler and less power hungry. This laptop is also one of just a handful of new RTX Studio certified laptops, which means the hardware and software have been optimized in a number of creative apps, such as the Adobe Suite, so you get better performance. Number three, the display. And usually laptops come with either 1080p or 4K displays like this. So generally I'd say gamers should stick with 1080p because 4K just destroys your frame rate in games, but if you're a creative individual, then I think 4K is a better option because generally you get more color accurate screens and it's just sharper. I'm shooting this video at 4K and so when I take the SD card out, put it in here via a, a adapter, which we'll talk about in a second, uh, but it means I can watch my content back natively. So it's just crisper and more detailed. Color accuracy is really important when you're grading or working with color sensitive content. But for me, a good laptop screen would cover 100% sRGB and over 95% Adobe RGB and good reviews will tell you this. So it's worth doing a research. And if you can, it is also worth calibrating the screen yourself. At number four, we have Seradici's favorite, ports or IO. If I could spec my own perfect creator laptop, it would have at least one USB-C Thunderbolt 3. Always look for that little lightning symbol as this is the fastest port you can get right now and it's great for outputting to high res monitors, plugging in super fast hard drives, or even using external graphics card docks if you need some extra graphical horsepower. I would also like an SD card reader, a full size SD so I could take my footage from the camera, plug it straight into the laptop and not have to plug it in via USB adapter. And that's probably one of my bigger complaints about the Concept D7. Not the end of the world, but just a little bit irritating. And finally, number five, battery life. I travel a lot, and so having a decent battery life is really useful. Aside from the size of the battery itself, the biggest factors are graphics cards and 4K screens. These drain your battery significantly. So if battery life is super important to you, then go for a 1080p screen and maybe a less powerful graphics card. You could argue that these content creator laptops are just, well, high-end laptops. I mean, we've had the Dell XPS series and MacBook Pros for years and years now, but there is a whole new sort of generation coming out with the obviously ninth gen H series of processors, more accurate 4K screens, including OLED screen options on the likes of Dell XPS 15, the Razer Blade 15 Advanced, the ASUS ZenBook Pro Duo, and of course also the software optimizations. What Intel are doing, what Nvidia are doing, working with developers to optimize their apps and programs for these kind of laptops means that yes, while we have had high-end laptops forever, these are actually designed and optimized for people like us. But hopefully those tips will help guide you toward a laptop that's going to be suitable for you and basically enable you to be more creative and improve your workflow. So if any of that was helpful and you enjoyed the video, then make sure you do hit like and subscribe below so you don't miss out on my next video. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll catch you next time right here on The Tech Chat.